A hundred miles off the eastern coast of the United States, units of Admiral Mark Mitcher's mighty Eighth Fleet sail in line. For this 15-ship task force, including the aircraft carriers Franklin D. Roosevelt, the Midway, and the Princeton, it's the beginning of six weeks of intensive maneuvers in the Atlantic Ocean. To the carrier Roosevelt comes the President of the United States. There's a traditional Navy welcome for Mr. Truman, who has interrupted his vacation cruise to spend two days at sea with the fleet. Secretary of the Navy Forrestal and Admiral of the Fleet Nimitz greet the Commander-in-Chief. With Admiral Mitcher, scourge of the Japanese Navy, President Truman goes on a tour of the 45,000-ton carrier, which is the mightiest in the Navy. The President chats with members of the crew. Many of them are new recruits, inexperienced, but under the rigorous training schedule ahead, they'll soon be old hands. Next morning at 4 o'clock, the carrier's planes prepare for dawn takeoff, and the president is up to watch them. Over a hundred planes rise from the three carriers to strike at an imaginary enemy beyond the horizon. accomplished. The planes come in to land. An instructive two days with the fleet for America's president and the Navy's commander-in-chief.